All right, this is IMAX Nation 1980 here. I'm doing a special video for the new release, Iron Man 2 on Blu-ray. This is the Target exclusive Steel Book Edition. Let me show you the cover here. This is 14,409 out of 30,000 editions produced. Sorry for the shine. But I'll give you a brief uh, comment on the film. I thought it was a good film. I think the original was better, but it was still a pretty satisfying sequel. And I liked a lot of other things in it. I didn't think it was a, a terrible sequel at all. I actually thought it was worthy of the original. Now, here's an insert. This is basically the code for the digital copy, and this is also the cover of the standard edition Blu-ray if you're getting the Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack and of course inside is the Hall of Armor here's disc one of the Blu-ray which contains some special features like an audio commentary by John Favreau the director I already watched the film which is the third time I've seen it first two in theaters of course and it looked really good on Blu-ray, that's all I could say. And here's disc two with more special features. I only watched the deleted scenes and I didn't think they were nothing special. I, they did have the scene that was in the trailer, the You Complete Me sequence, so that's on there. And this is of course the DVD and it has the digital copy on it. And if you take this disc out, which I have to do very carefully here, you'll see the uh, Hall of Armor continued interesting packaging nonetheless I thought it was a pretty good idea and it cost around thirty three dollars for me at Target of course this is the only, Target's the only place where it's being sold let me put the insert back in here and if you haven't seen Iron Man 2 yet I definitely recommend it it's not a terrible sequel at all it's not one of those sequels that really suffers the it doesn't really suffer the curse it it it's pretty good it's not as good as the original in my opinion but it comes it comes kind of close I mean I thought the ending was a bit rushed and I th thought the writing could have been a bit better but I definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it yet and this steel book in my opinion is the way to go it's an awesome set. This was IMAX Nation 1980, signing off.